Hi guys, this is Editing Palasa. I just wanted to tell you guys that there's currently a giveaway going on on my Instagram with the Defense Set keychain. So if you live in Botswana, make sure to go to my Instagram and check it out so you can participate in the giveaway. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel, Libito Laka Ke Palasa. You can call me Lessa and in today's video, I'm going to be filming a Q&A slash get to know me. So the first question that I got is what do I aspire to be? I just wanted to be a lawyer, mostly because I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless, but I realized that the industry is so full and has so many people in it. I don't really know if it's a lucrative road for me. So as of now, I really don't know what I want to be. One thing that I really aspire to be is to be an active member of the student body where I go to school. I also want to be an active member in the community as a whole. That's why I have um, Balasa's Caring Sisterhood. What is your greatest achievement so far? generating as many followers as i have throughout all my social media platforms i don't think you guys truly understand how grateful i am for you guys you guys give me so many opportunities and meeting you guys in public is like literally so fun even talking to you through dms what's the greatest challenge or struggle you faced recently something pretty tragic has happened to me and it was like a public thing so i'd assume that most of you know about it for me it really hit me home mostly because i didn't feel like i was wrong but like my feelings in the situation didn't matter the organization that i associated myself with it kind of became who i am and i think that bothered me a lot because i'm not just that like i was balissa before and i'd like to still remain balissa after it kind of consumed me a bit because school was also falling behind and shifts are also kind of falling behind so it's like it was really hard for me to keep up so it's really been a struggle to bounce back from it but one thing i've really appreciated is people don't really mention it a lot and it helps me a lot because i feel like oh people are forgetting it's been my greatest challenge a therapist has been there a lot for me because i did end up going to therapy because of how much it took a toll on my mental health because my mom they're literally like the greatest people there i really appreciate that my mom my mom had my back in the whole situation so just like uh, my supporters on social media i'm very grateful for you guys and also my friends like i had a lot of people reaching out to me telling me that oh i know you're not like this it being such a, a public thing it was kind of like traumatic to me I didn't have a positive impact on my well-being as a person where do you go to school i don't really like answering this question at my school we're not allowed to take pictures in our school uniform or videos in our school uniform we're also not allowed to tarnish the school name what is your favorite subject my favorite subject is business studies the teacher who teaches business studies is so passionate about his subject he is overly passionate about his subject and that just keeps me so motivated and makes me want to work harder but apart from business studies my favorite subject is physical education solely because my teacher she is so amazing like she's literally my second mom i actually call her my mom what is your dream university my dream uni is not something that i'd like to disclose not everyone has your best uh hearted interest best interest at heart yeah are you a fan of i spies i think she's very pretty that's one thing I can say. She is very, very pretty. I wouldn't just, I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to her music. What is your biggest pet peeve? Because I really don't like being shouted at. And I recently had an experience where my in school friends and out of school friends shouted at me for something that was like completely not my fault, in my opinion. And it didn't rub me the right way. And I cut them off because I, I really will not accept that type of disrespect. If you wouldn't like me speaking like that to you, I don't expect you to speak like that to me. And, you know, we talked about, um, he apologized and we're still friends now but i feel like my boundaries are something that i value a lot so if someone is crossing my boundaries or someone's actively disrespecting me that's my biggest pet peeve I, I don't care how long we've known each other i will cut you off are you a girly girl or more tomboyish i think i'd say feminine energy and masculine energy it really does depend on the situation hey because sometimes i refuse i refuse to accept help and i realize that's my masculine energy like if someone wants to help me and i literally cannot do something i should allow them to help me but then there are some times when i need my masculine energy like when someone is disrespecting me i need to stand up for myself so my masculine energy kind of just pops out you know kind of scares you i'd like to say i'm a girly girl i really enjoy makeup and wearing heels biggest celebrity crush i actually don't have one Shame. I used to have one. I think I was like, what? I was in like middle class six. I was in class six. Tom Holland used to be my celebrity crush. I thought he was so, so cute. My favorite football player. Messi, Zlatan, and Haaland. I don't really like Jude Bellingham. Is your circle of friends small? What kind of people do you befriend? 
My circle of friends is really really small The reason why is because I really just don't like drama What kind of people do you befriend? People that are very understanding and people that have something going on in their life The stage that I'm in at my in my life right now I have a lot of stuff going on and like sharing that with my friends I don't want to be in a situation where so in our relationship we talk more about me and what I'm doing than what you're doing So I feel like it would be better if I'm friends with someone who's also doing something and I'm doing something but also like moving up at the same time i really believe in you are who you surround yourself with so i'm very picky when it comes to calling people my friends are you religious yes i would consider myself to be religious i actually transitioned from being a lukewarm christian to being a devoted christian what's your ethnicity slash where do you come from i was born in Botswana. i was born and raised in Botswana. because my mom is from south africa so what grade are you in i'm currently in form four and i cannot wait to finish actually i'm literally so happy like where the the finish line is getting closer and closer you say you have a best friend to rely on and truly connected to a sister in christ like a real r slash d acme acme is my christian sister i don't know if she knows it or not i'm probably pronouncing her name wrong because i've only met her once sadly we've come to the end of this video i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. So don't forget to follow my social medias. They'll be up on the screen one more time. Bye, guys.